chronograph, an aviator watch and a diver. Nine watches integrated in one. What is the sorcery I said when I read about this chronomaster aviator sea diver? And indeed, with the help of Nevada today we have the chance to look at the Lollipop Honey, a legendary watch with a history of almost 60 years. So for a proper start, the first version of the Chronomaster was launched in 1963. This was a unique all-in-one watch concept which was adopted across years by other brands as well, you will see soon. This model was named Chronomaster Aviator Sea Diver, being able to bring 9 timepiece functionalities into a single one. And this vintage advertising material is indicating that this all-in-one watch was able to offer a timeout feature that keeps the record of the total elapsed time, a stopwatch, a doctor's watch to measure the falls, a skin diver that ensured 600 feet water resistance, an aviator feature, a tachymeter, a yachting timer, a time zone feature and a regular timekeeper. Sorcery indeed. Now what is happening today is even better. Nevada is successfully keeping their creations faithful to the original, keeping the properties, the features and the sizes really close to the original ones. And I enjoy that because nowadays there are just a few brands that totally respect the sizing, the colors and the features of the original vintage models. And for this reason I totally enjoyed the Pac-Man review which I did earlier this year. And the link is on the top right corner if you want to check it out. And yes, we can call Nevada a brand that makes original vintage models, not vintage inspired timekeepers or reimagined. And for this reason, I'm also interested to explore the Nevada novelties like this F-77 project or the Super Antarctic, so fingers crossed for future reviews. Now the specs of this Chronomaster are ideal, especially today when the entry-level chronographs are sadly too chunkier because of the movement limitations. In our case, the watch is faithful to the original one, so we have a mechanical chronograph module inside exactly as the first model. The Lollipop Honey is equipped with the caliber Celita SW5110BHB, which is the available alternative of a Valjoux 7750 but without the rotor. And luckily without the rotor, the case back is thinner, being more comfortable to wear. On the wrist, the Chronomaster is indeed a joy to wear. I do love how the watch sits on the wrist, has a very well optimized case and the height of 13.7mm is actually not noticeable because the case back sits buried on the wrist and the lugs are laying perfectly on the wrist surface. Also the lug to lug distance is ideal having only 46mm and 38mm in width with a lug width of 20mm. And as waterproofness the watch ensures 100 meters without a screw down crown. But interesting to know the original vintage model ensured a high waterproofness of 600 feet. And profile wise from the top we have a blue hued box sapphire crystal followed by the counter angled outer bezel and then by the elegant profile of the case where we can spot the vintage specific silhouette which arches slowly the lugs towards the wrist featuring the practical drill lugs. Oh yeah my kind. And as bracelet options, the Chronomaster was sent to me on a beads of rice bracelet which makes the watch on the wrist a bit longer and more elegant. Because of the polished center of the links, the bracelet is solid and complements the vintage case with the highly polished beads of rice pattern from the center, also the discrete brushed rhythm from the sides of the links. The clasp is short, thin and comfortable, has 4 micro adjustment points, polished accents on the sides and the brushed rhythm which is interrupted by the engraved Nevada logo. The shape of the case and the dial combo with the black honey accents can work with a lot of straps from brown to black leather or the Nevada stretch bracelet but the coolest thing I find it on a genuine tropic strap which is elegant and has a strong vintage profile not to mention the waterproofness. But speaking about straps, Nevada also did an awesome thing for us and for any watch purchase from their website you will receive a free strap if you add the code BRAVEBEATERSHASSTRAP. But pay attention, you have to add the watch to the cart, also choose the strap choice in the cart and then input the code in order to be eligible. So a nice surprise from Nevada for any watch purchase, you have a strap for free with the code BRAVEBEATERSHASSTRAP. And when you create an account on their website, pay attention to the activation mail because it might appear on the spam or on the junk folder. But getting back to the Chronomaster, I like the way the box distortion of the sapphire crystal covers a bit from the tachymeter scale, which makes the dial to be lesser busy and clean. Everything being included here, very tasteful on an attractive bi-compact dial with beautiful brown, white and red accents. 
The lollipop honey has a bi-directional aluminium bezel which can be actioned through friction. The bezel displays the diving immersive time for diving purposes with a non-loomed triangle but it also contains the GMT feature through the secondary numerals printed below the diving numerals. The dial has a beautiful fake patina burnt treaty markers that communicates chromatically with the khaki brown subdials. Also the loom markers are painted on an embossed surface that serves as the base for the dial and it feels like they are not printed but applied. But one thing is certain, the dial of the Chronomaster is filled with loom, the surface applied is generous almost to a diver level. And in general the loom quality of Nevada watches is very good which was the case with the Pac-Man as well. Now, as personality, I do love the red accents implemented on the Chronomasters at the 9 o'clock subdials, which represents the elapsed time for the first 5 minutes, which I believe is the 5 minutes warning signal for yachting. Also, the loomed red lollipop chronograph hand looks exactly like a diver's watch seconds hand, and when stopped, we can perceive it as the main chronograph seconds hand, but when started, it's exactly like a classic diver's hand. Another cool accent is the L letter, which sits above the Swiss label. This is the indicator that signals the presence of Luminova. However, back in the days when the dials were painted in tritium, they should have signaled the dials with the T letter, which represented the radioactive paint. In general, the T letter was positioned on the left and on the right hand side of the Swiss made label. But in this case, the T or the L was positioned below the name and the specs of the tool, similar to the military watches. To keep it short and precise as a chronograph, today I learned something about watch preferences and the Nevada Grunch and Chronomaster changed my perspective about this genre. Because I was convinced that the chronograph is a complex sensitive watch that should be worn only in safe circumstances. But this Chronomaster proved me wrong. It shows me that I can wear, use and enjoy all its functions worry free no matter if I'm on a vacation underwater, on a yacht or on another time zone. Also we have to remember that this concept was developed, perfected and adopted almost 60 years ago. And for this reason, the Nevada Grunchen Chronomaster Air Diver has its place on the Brave Beaters list, taking the position number 36 in the Hall of Fame, alongside iconic watches that contributed across time to the development of our beloved phenomenon. So, thank you once again Nevada for the opportunity to review this iconic watch. And as for you my brave friends, what do you think about this Nevada Chronomaster Air Diver? Please let me know in the comments section and if you're new here, please consider subscribing for future episodes. Thank you very much and until next time, be brave Bob, stay safe.